Hey guys, today we're talking about spatulas for the Blackstone, and it starts now. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Corey from the Northwoods, where we're showing you that freedom is an adventure. We're finding ours, and you can too. Today we're talking about the different types of spatulas that we use with the Blackstone. So if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and come along with us and we get this started. All right, the first ones I'm gonna start with is the original Blackstone uh, spatulas. This is what comes in kind of a starter kit uh, that most people start with. Has the uh, black plastic handles on them that say Blackstone on them right there. Not sure if you can see those or not right there. Let's see if it'll focus for you. Okay, so these are the original, uh, comes in a starter kit along with uh, this also comes with uh, a scraper and a couple bottles to get you started so these are just kind of meant to be kind of a beginner uh, spatulas but I actually do really like these um, for um, a couple reasons I really like them because they're light and they work really good for when you're tossing stir-fry and um, you don't have to worry about your wrist and, and stuff getting sore from flipping and turning because they're so light. That works out really good for any kind of thing that you're tossing a lot on the griddle. Um, that way your wrists don't get sore. So the next one we'll move on to, and this was the original Signature Series um, hamburger spatula. <laughs> I, I really like this spatula. The only thing I I didn't really care about the spatula that it had such a short handle on it, um, but I've used the spatula a lot and more for than just burgers. I use this for uh, if I'm doing smash burgers. I don't use it to smash. I use it because of the thick surface and the beveled edge that this right here has. Uh, it makes it really good for getting underneath stuff. Um, so other things that I found that it works really good on is if you're doing pancakes. Especially if you're going to do uh, a specialty pancake like a uh, pineapple upside down pancake where the fruit uh, might want to separate a little bit from the pancake if you don't get it a full coverage when you go to flip it. So this works really good for that kind of stuff because you can get up and underneath that stuff and it's got a nice broad surface on it. I also have used this, you might have seen our video on our saw smoked chicken barbecue pizza. And this works really good because it's a larger surface for transferring pizzas on and off the rack uh, that I used when I cook on here. And uh, so that this one here I've actually used a lot and for more than just burgers. Okay, so these next spatulas, these are all new for 2020. And uh, some of these here I uh, have just got, a couple of them I've used uh, already, and uh, a couple of them I haven't. But the thing I really like about them, and I, I, I may end up buying more of these, believe it or not. I really love these things. Um, this is the original one that I had. This is, comes as just a single spatula. Um, I like using this one kind of for eggs. It's got a little more weight to it. It's kind of heavy. It does have a beveled edge around the side of it here. Um, don't know if you can see that beveled edge there a little bit. Um, so it does have that beveled edge and it makes it really good for scraping the eggs if you're doing scrambled eggs um, or if you're wanting to get underneath that egg you know to roll it over for an over easy egg or um, stuff like that so this one is it's more weight than the original uh, spatulas but I do like it because it has some girth to it and uh, these new models of Blackstone also have this little thing right here this little catch thing that you can use this right here as a bottle opener, not just to hang your spatula, but this end actually works for a taking a cap off a bottle. So that's kind of cool. All right, so this next spatula, these here actually come in a two pack. And as you'll see, these ones here, they're a little bit wider than the last one, and they're a little bit shorter. And what I find for these, these will actually be a little bit nicer um, for doing burgers that you don't smash um, or other items that you're going to do. Maybe if you're doing some uh, chicken breasts, pork chops, things like that. 
because it's a little thicker it's not as long so they reduce some of the weight by making it a little shorter so it actually weighs almost identical to what this one does but it's shorter and a little bit fatter and wider so this will work really good for uh, steaks um, pork chops chicken things like that uh, where you want a little bit more width and girth to the the spatula itself uh, these handles are fantastic on all these 2020 models uh, this is a rubberized handle uh, so even if your hands are a little wet or uh, greasy or whatever you can still grip that really good and it feels really good in your uh, hand it's got a little divot right there for your thumb to sit in and uh, these are just really really comfortable to use I really like these and um, anybody first starting out you know if you don't start with that original signature set I would suggest getting you a set of these these are uh, an awesome spatula that's just kind of a universal spatula and like I said those come in a two pack when you buy those so great spatula um, all these are great spatulas Blackstone makes a great spatula so this one here is the new burger spatula for uh, 2020 and like I said with this old one uh, I didn't really care that the handle was so short on it and you can see they they fixed that they went ahead and they put a little bit longer handle on here and a little bit bigger surface area so again everything that I was using this spatula for uh, smash burgers pancakes uh, things like that this is just going to be that much better one it, it, it has the uh, blackstone logo on it but it's not cut out like the other one it's a little bit broader surface uh, still has a beveled edge around everything so you can get right underneath stuff and scrape on it and stuff um, one thing I I wouldn't suggest with these I mean you can use it if you want but I wouldn't suggest using this as an actual tool to smash your burgers with um, I know I've seen some people complain that some of these tools um, from smashing burgers and things that they've had the handles break right here and I think it was just because they're putting too much torque and pressure pushing down on it um, I always suggest using a, a bacon press or an actual burger press if you're gonna do smash burgers on your griddle so so that right there is the spatulas that we use on our Blackstone we're excited to announce in celebration of hitting 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube, as well as 25,000 members in our Blackstone group on Facebook. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a giveaway for your choice of either a 17 inch adventure ready Blackstone griddle or an $85 gift card of your choosing from either Amazon or Walmart. We appreciate each and every one of you that follow us and support us. And this is our little way of giving back. I'll include a link in the description down below that you can click to go ahead and enter for this giveaway. Thanks guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment below and make sure you hit that little subscribe button right here. And if you're looking for something to try cooking, check out this video right here. We'll see you out there.